Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I want to do a lookbook um, based on some of the few pieces that I showed you in my last video. I believe I titled it my Zara Sale Haul 2019. So um, yeah, I just want to do a lookbook, show you how I would style the pieces with other pieces in my wardrobe or with some of the, all the pieces that I bought together. Um, I kind of mix and match and everything will be linked in the below bar just um, click on that little arrow and it will expand also while we're here if I can ask you to subscribe if you like this video and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my other videos and like if you do like more videos like that so let's get started let's start with the piece that I'm wearing now this skirt um, was featured in the video I bought it um, in the Zara sale it's a skirt, it has ruching. I'm going to step back a little bit so that you can get the full view. Hopefully, these are the heels. Hopefully, I'm not too far. Um, this is my new setup in my bedroom, so hopefully the lighting is a little bit better than my other videos. And um, the quality is a little bit better. But yeah, this uh, the shirt that I'm wearing, unfortunately, is from last year. April I believe my sister bought it for me um, for my birthday um, it's a piece that I really liked it's yellow it's really see-through so you need to be careful which bra you wear underneath it and the skirt has a zip on the side and as I said it has ruching and I paired it with these Zara heels that I bought again last summer so yeah, I will have pictures of the final looks. So that's the first look. Let's get on to the next. Okay, the next two pieces that I featured in that video were these two pieces. This blouse, that is a turquoise color. It's $35.90, but I believe it's in the sale. And this green trouser, again, that are in the sale regular price is $69.99 but as I said it's in the sale let's see how it's okay done. so this piece oh, they look gorgeous together I knew they would because um, the colors are just complementary um, the turquoise and the green look so beautiful together I'm going to back up a little bit so you can get the full view I didn't pin it up there because I was just too lazy to do that. But, oh my goodness. It's perfection. I'm going to get a little closer. The blouse, again, paired it with a dark bra. You can see all the details. The collar, the gathering. The sleeve with... The sleeve with the little tie detail the collar with the gathering, the trouser with the pleats and the front and then the back, nips you at the waist. It's a pretty long trouser, it's floor length on me. Let's see, floor length on me. And I paired them with these blue, um, these are really old. I'm not even sure what brand they are. Maziaro. I think it's an Italian brand. I got it online years and years ago. Um, I will try to find something compatible and link it. But yeah, this outfit, I love the balloon sleeve on this. It's airy. You can wear it in summer. Um, in spring, you can just layer a jacket over it. Yeah, this looks really really good let's go on to the next look so the next look um, so the next look is going to be a two-piece cord set played it's a midi skirt it's pretty long and an asymmetric top that matches and the skirt apologize if you hear my daughter <laughs> Uh, the skirt was $69.99, but again, it's in the sale. 
because I got it in the sale and the top is $49.90 and I got that in the sale also. Let's change okay, it. Okay guys, so this is the cord set. It looks like a dress instead of two pieces. As you can see, the top is asymmetric so you would have to wear either a strap or strapless bra or no bra at all. I'm wearing a strapless bra because I am a 36 C and yeah, <laughs> just have too much going on for me not to wear a bra. Um, I'd feel self-conscious in it. But yeah, this is it. It has a lot of ruching going on in the tummy area, which kind of adds this kind of weird bulk to your size. And also the pattern are just a little confusing. So I'm not sure if I really like this one. Maybe I could wear them separately, but together, I'm not sure. And I paired them with my Zara Red Pumps. Got these two last summer. I will try to find alternatives. But yeah, this is it. And again, because I'm so short, the sleeve, I think, would be, I have really short arms, so I think the sleeve would be a little short for someone taller. And the skirt fits me way longer than a midi skirt. It's almost to my ankles. So, I don't think it's a bad outfit. I just don't know if I like it personally. I feel like it's just too much going on. And I think it's the tummy area that's kind of turning me off to the outfit. I don't know. Let me know in a comment below what you think of this outfit. Should I keep it or should I send it back? Would really appreciate your opinion. I mean, it, in the sale, it was a little bit less um, expensive than it was full price so that makes me kind of want to keep it and I could see myself wearing the top with some jeans some blue jeans or with a um, maxi skirt or white denim short skirt with it also the skirt I, I think maybe I'll just return the skirt and keep the top I don't know <laughs> let me know anyway let's go to the other so let's go to the next outfit. The next outfit is a pajama set like quad blue, or oh, is it even blue? Blue green and with flowers on it. And the dominant, the dominary color is brown. So yeah, let's see how pajama set. You can leave it on tuck or you can tuck it in. Leave some in the back. I don't know how much better this look. I think I would love it tucked out like this. Just hanging. You can wear a blazer over it or a coat. Um, and I know some people might find it weird because you're basically wearing a pajama as an outfit. But I feel like if like the neutral colors could make it work. Yeah, let me back up so you can see the full look. I paired it with my um, nude Le Talval shoes. Um, and I say nude because it is the color of my skin tone, so it will be nude for me, brown. <laughs> I would say nude. Um, and I learned of this brand, Le Talval, from Melissa Soldano. I've been following her for years. Um, I think last year or the year before. It might have been even before my kids were born. I'm not sure, but I have several pairs of shoes from this company and they're really super comfortable. You can walk in them all day. I know they look kind of high, but they are super comfortable. They have padding in them. They're, you know when you wear pointy shoes, how sometimes the toe area can be like restricted and you kind of have to work it in before it starts loosening up a little bit. These, from the time I put them on my feet, they were perfect. And as I said, I love them, I love wearing them. They're the perfect nude for me. Yeah, so 
this is the outfit. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's too much of a sleepwear um, outfit? Would you wear it out? Do you like it? Okay, so like I told you guys in my last video, um, the Zara haul video, I bought these pants and they're kind of controversial. They're kind of different and I didn't know how I was going to style them. I still don't know how I'm going to style them, how they're going to come out. I think I'm going to wear them with these top that I got from Zara, this bodysuit. It is not in the sale, but um, it's one of their basic. I believe it's $19.99, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so it's not really that expensive. The pants are in the sale. Their original price was $119. Yes, that is the code. And I don't know how much I got them on sale, but I think it was like maybe 70 to 80% off. Yeah, but I got them at a ridiculously cheap price. So let's see how this, this is what it looks like. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I love it. I love the way it fits. It's a little too long for me, so let me back up. So I'm definitely going to have to have it tailored or brought up. I just paired it with my Balenciaga knife heels. Are these my Balenciaga? Yes, they are. <laughs> oh, no, they're not my Balenciaga. I'm sorry. They're my Tony Bianco. That's what they are. Um, they're my Tony Bianco um, heels. They look like the Balenciaga ones. I have the Balenciaga one in. I had them. I returned them because they weren't as comfortable as these are. So yeah. I love it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love when pants have pockets. You know, Zara sometimes do pants that have these fake pockets and they're sewn in. And you can't do anything with them. But these have pockets. I, oh, it's the little things that make me happy. <laughs> yeah, wow, I love this. I did not know how I was going to style these pants. But styling them with a simple top is just perfection. Even with maybe a white button down top would look perfect too. But I think like this is perfection. Yeah. Oh, I love the love it, love it, love it. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, these are great. Oh, did not love them so much. Yeah. So as soon as I get them hemmed, they are going to be the dream, best purchase. So, my next three pieces I got to wear together. Um, it is the denim trouser with the denim jacket and this Barbie top. And I thought it would make a cute, you know, chic but everyday casual outfit. So let's see how it looks. Okay. So here is the outfit together. I'm going to be honest with you. This is the piece that I thought I would love the most. And I don't know. There's just something about it that I'm not liking that much. I don't know if it's because the blazer just looks a little too big on me. I mean, just a few weeks ago, this fit perfectly. And I guess I lost a little bit of weight. So, yeah. It's not bad. But it's just not what... Hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. Let me move all the way back so you can see. I hope oh, paired it again with my uh, Maciero heels. As I said, these heels are super, super old more than 10 years for sure they still wear comfortable they've been worn in let me take out this shirt so you can see how long it is this is the shirt 
on me it looks really long, but I think this would be considered average length. Again, I'm 4'11", just for reference. The jacket, extra small. The pants are a size 8, medium. The shirt is a small because it was oversized, so I sized down. Anyway, this is the entire haul. I hope that you stuck around till the end because there is a surprise in this video. Hi guys, so this is me from the future. I tried to film the f end of this video several times and I just got way too excited and just was like jumbling up my words. So basically I want to give a do a giveaway of a $100 Zara gift card for one lucky winner all you have to do is go onto my instagram page and all the rules will be on there um so yeah hope you enjoy give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and put on the notification bell so that when i do my other giveaways you don't miss out and you don't miss out on the other content that i have on this channel bye